What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Karen. So as you can tell by the title, it's been a month already that baby Leo was born. So I'm just going to get to... There's not really much that's happened in this one month. Simply because I feel like me having somebody here helping me has been a huge blessing. I know a lot of moms out there don't have that opportunity to have um, somebody help them. Even if they have their spouse um, or the baby's father that's living with them, they may not help around a lot. So I'm blessed that, you know, I have my mom here with me and my husband as well that have been taking good care of me. So I am very thankful and I feel very blessed that God has allowed my mother, you know, to live this long and be here with me to share this moment you know having her grandkids so um let me start off with baby i want to say um you know he's four weeks old he's been very calm and such a well-behaved baby he wakes up every two hours every two hours on the clock he is up and ready to eat so that's one thing that um, I don't, I don't get very, you know, paranoid about like, oh, he's not waking up. Um, no, he wakes up every two hours to eat. So I'm looking over there because, you know, I'm watching him from here. Um, he's sleeping, but he eats every two hours from week one to week two. He pretty much just eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep. And so around week three, he started waking up um, a little bit longer, like he would stay awake and he would look around for about 20, 25 minutes at max. Um, thankfully, um, again, I, if I didn't mention this already, I do officially breastfeed him. So as far as what I'm eating is chicken soup and oatmeal. And then I may have some crackers, um, cranberry juice and water, maybe some apple juice here and there. But that's pretty much what I eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, it is. So sometimes it could be very tiring of eating the same thing over and over again. But this time around, I, I'm, I'm like okay with it. You know, I'm not complaining. Uh, some days I do feel like I want to eat something more solid, like maybe pasta or pizza or something i want to eat something you know that i haven't ate in a while but because i am nursing i know that a lot of every like a lot of things that i eat may affect the baby you know give them colics or stuff like that up the stomach so i really want to stick to one meal for now just because that's what's been working for the both of us so thank god he has not been fussy he has not been colicky he has not been constipated he's just been perfect like i cannot say anything but that he's been perfect um again a lot of people told me and i read as well you know like is he crying there's you know that witching hour that a lot of people talk about with newborns um it's usually between two and three in the morning Thankfully, again, he has not been fussy. He has not been cranky. He hasn't been crying. If he wakes up, he's just awake. He doesn't cry or no, he's just awake looking. And if it's in the middle of the night I, and I'm super tired, you know, he'll just lay there. I'll just, you know, doze off, fall asleep or, you know, look at him and see if he'll start crying. But he's very good. And around the fourth week, he has stayed awake up now for about an hour. He'll stay awake for an hour and then he'll nurse and he'll go back to sleep. The other thing that he has done, he does lift his head up well. He can, if I do tummy time with him, if I lay him on his stomach to sleep, he does lift his head up and he turns it to one side to the other. So when he's tired from sleeping on one side of his face, he'll turn his head to the other side. Um, he lifts his head up really well. He's also turning. So 
I did post a video on TikTok and on my Snapchat of him turning from his belly to his back. So I'll insert that here for you guys that don't follow me there. So he was turning like halfway already here. And of course my phone died when he actually did roll over. But I'll show you guys another clip of that. So I'm just super like, oh my goodness, my baby is going too fast. And although I stare at him all day, all night, I still don't see how he's growing and doing all of this, you know, new things. So um, I'm just so happy. Um, all my other kids have been the same way. Very calm, very well behaved, no crying. Again, unless I eat something that makes them you know get a belly upset then i may have a crying baby or a fussy baby but for the most part they're so good so i don't know if i'm missing anything um there might be some good advice or information for new moms out there but if you have any questions of course leave them down in the comment section below okay so now i'm going to talk about me and how i've been feeling so again, as I said, you know, I have my husband who supports me, who deals with me with my emotions and my cryings and everything that, you know, I'm dealing with. And my mom, she's here, you know, um, supporting as well. She assists me, you know, with the kids or with bringing me food up to my room. So she's just been very um, helpful as well. So let me just start off. I do... I did some research as far as you know how important it is to do skin to skin with baby again if you guys follow me on um, snapchat I've posted a couple of here and there when I've been doing skin to skin with the baby I try to do skin to skin at least once a day if not twice a day and I try to do it for an hour long sometimes I cut it short because we start you know our body heat I guess we start getting hot so it's a lot of um, the baby starts to sweat and I just don't want him laying on a puddle of sweat on my chest. So um, I've been doing a lot of skin to skin. I heard it helps, you know, with um, postpartum depression. And of course, it has a lot of benefits for the baby, you know, his with his blood and his breathing and everything like that. I want to go into detail because, you know, you guys can look that up. But I want to say that I feel like that has helped so much. I feel... Like, I haven't been depressed. The first week that I got home from the hospital, I did get emotional, like, on the fifth day, sixth day, because my husband was going to go back to work the next, uh, like, the seventh day, like, a week after I had the baby, he was going to go back to work. So, I did get emotional. I did start crying because he was going to go back to work. Um, and other than that, like, I haven't cried. And then... I kind of, you know, got myself together and I was like, okay, you know, he has to go back to work. He can't stay with me, you know, this, you know, for all this time that I'm going to be in bed rest with the baby. But um, other than that, after that day, I've just been so thankful that, you know, I have the opportunity to stay at home and be with my baby. So I've just been trying to bond with him. Again, I nurse him. So I'm just enjoying the moment and this is my sixth baby so i know that what i didn't do with my first couple of kids i should take advantage and do it with him and i like i said i've been doing skin to skin i feel like that has helped me as well to feel kind of calm and a lot of women say you know how they don't feel loved because once their spouse goes back to work and they're left alone, they start feeling lonely and like nobody loves them and nobody's checking up on them and you know, just a lot of things. But like I said, you know, one, thankfully, you know, I have a great husband that supports me. My mother is here as well. But other than that, you know, my kids, they do go off to school. So it's a lot of quiet. Samuel, my four-year-old, he doesn't give me a hard time. He does his own thing. He knows how to entertain himself. So I am in my room alone with my baby until the kids get home from school, my husband gets home. So I just try to bond with my baby, you know, to feel like I have somebody, you know, that loves me. My baby loves me. I love my baby. So that bonding with him, I feel like it's helped in that 
sense of nobody loves me or nobody cares or you know stuff like that because it does go through our minds you know when we're left alone then nobody cares and i think that when like the depression comes in you know that you're always crying or you know, just messy stuff like like, like a, it's a mess when um we start thinking like that so i try to not think negatively and be at peace too because i'm nursing and i hear i don't know if they're myths but they also say you know when you're crying and you're feeling depressed and stuff like that stuff happens with your milk the baby can sense it so i just try to avoid it and be as calm as i can so as far as postpartum depression i feel so far right now that i'm good um, i'm not feeling sad i'm not feeling like i want to hurt myself or like i want to hurt the baby or anything of you know those type of um signs that doctors and that you read and other moms say i don't feel like that so i, I i'm basically thinking you know um i'm pretty good as far as that goes so also you know with breastfeeding the first two weeks was kind of hard you know getting used to excuse me nursing again i did not get engorged my mom taught me uh, with my fourth or my fifth baby that instead of wearing a bra all the time and the nursing pads to put a towel under you know um, to catch any milk that comes out so when you hold um when you kind of close out you know the holes from the milk coming out when you close that or have something up against it that's when the milk starts to build up and that's when you get engorged and you start having pain so allowing the milk to just drip i feel like that's helped me a lot when it comes to um having that relief and not feeling engorged so i haven't experienced that which usually with my other kids i remember that i did experience it in the first couple of weeks after you know my milk came in because i guess of that same reason that you know i didn't allow the milk to to drip out on its own so it was accumulating and that caused a lot of pain especially on the sides um where the bra area uh, kind of um, presses up against on the breast so um, this time around you know i did the whole towel method and i haven't felt engorged or anything like that so um i'm good there as well bleeding wise i haven't bled after i came home from the hospital i had a very light bleeding very very light bleeding but since i've been in bed and i haven't been up and lifting things and doing things i feel like that's helped you know with the blood flow very you know that's helped the blood um flow very slowly so i did have spotting here and there but after third week i haven't really seen like i'll have some days where i don't change out a pad um or i don't spot at all so i haven't you know had any heavy bleeding or anything like that again thank thankfully you know that i have my mom and my husband um that are here helping me so i don't have to be doing so many things um that i'm not supposed to do so yeah you guys i want to say i covered everything that i wanted to share with you guys again if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below um i'm gonna end this um chit chat here for you guys if you're new don't forget to subscribe um give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions of course leave them in the comment section below i try to answer or reply to you guys um as soon as possible so thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next vlog bye